Want to learn how to make an acrylic sign of your own logo or logos to sell? Then this video is for you. This is the logo of our favorite little local bakery and cafe. And if you want to know how I took that PNG logo and turned it into an SVG using Illustrator, then let me know and I can make a separate video for that whole process. But here we're going to assume that you have an SVG for the logo that you're going to make. So bring it here into Xtool Creative Space. And you can see I'm using the Xtool P2 because that is the CO2 laser that is going to be able to cut all colors and transparencies of acrylic. So my sign is going to be 10 inches wide total. And so once I have that sized, then I can start separating out all of these different layers. So I'm just going to add some separate text layers. These are not going to get cut out of anything. They're just here for my reference. So I have the text here that's going to be black. I have a pink layer that's going to be all of these little circles plus the heart and the little inside part of our coffee cup. This is going to help me stay organized make sure I cut stuff out of the right colors and that I don't forget any pieces along the way. The base part of the whole sign is white. The cup and the part that has the little rolling pin is all brown. Since each one of these objects has come in automatically as a score line, I'm going to select everything and change the processing type to cut. And at the same time, click ignore. So right now, nothing is going to um, be visible to cut. And while everything is selected, I'm going to change the power to 40 and the speed to 10. This has worked for me for all types of acrylic. And so I can just keep it the same for every cut. Now I have put in a piece of white acrylic. Uh, I hit refresh and then click capture close view uh, because I want to just get this as close to the edge of possible so that I'm maximizing my space and then so I can zoom in here and just scooch this up to the side and to the top uh, so that I know it's not going to go over the edges, but it's as close as possible. And then while I have this one shape selected, I'm going to click output. So then click process and you can see this is the only shape that shows up. So that's good. Click start, then push the button on the actual machine and the laser will cut out this shape. When it's all done and I've let the fan run a little bit, then I can open it up and take out this first cut piece. So now back in creative space, I'm going to take that shape and set it back to ignore. We don't want to cut that one out again. I can delete my little note that says white. And I'm just going to drag this off of the workspace. And before I cut the next color, which is going to be brown, I'm actually going to add an adhesive layer 
to the acrylic uh, so that it will be easy to apply to the white layer as I'm building the sign. Some of these pieces I'll be um, cutting out with an adhesive layer on the back. And for some of the pieces, I'll just be using a super glue formulated for acrylic to acrylic. So you can use both methods. You can use one or the other. Um, I just wanted to show you both ways. The adhesive sheet is really nice because you don't have to worry about any squeeze out from the super glue. Uh, but I have found that sometimes for small pieces, the super glue is better because it seems to have a better hold on a small area than the sheet does. So you can watch me do both ways uh, throughout this video. I'm going to take the protective paper layer off of one side of the acrylic. To apply the adhesive sheet, I'm going to peel away the backing and I'm not going to take it all the way off because I won't need to use the full sheet, but I'm going to lay it down here on the exposed acrylic. Try to line it up really well with those edges and then give it a good press down. And then I can just use scissors to cut away the excess and I can use the rest of that sheet another time later. Then I'm going to place that in the X tool. The adhesive side is on the back. Then I'll close the lid and back in creative space, refresh so that I have a new picture of the new piece of acrylic. I'm going to click this button to capture a close image so that I can see right up in this corner and I can get my cut design as close to the edges as possible. And then I'll make sure to move that little coffee mug over also so that it will get cut out at the same time. I had originally planned to cut these little half circle outlines from the brown acrylic, um, but you'll see as it's cutting here in a minute, they came out entirely too skinny. And so I ended up using my Cricut and cutting these with black vinyl, just like I cut the smaller letters in black. So when the brown cuts are ready, I'm going to click process and then start on the next screen and then press the button on the laser to send it to cut. Here it's cutting some of those semicircle lines and like I said, just way too thin and skinny to work with. And I ended up liking how it looked in vinyl better anyway. And then here everything is cut. And remember if you're ever cutting out any small pieces to double check on the base and make sure that nothing has been left behind in the laser. Then back in creative space, I'm going to move all of the brown images off to the side, and then I'm going to cut out the cream circle. Uh, so that's a nice, simple, quick cut. And then I'm going to do the black letters, and I'm doing this on acrylic that has an adhesive layer on the back. I'm going to do a close view and zoom in so that I can make sure that all of my letters are not overlapping with anything that's already been cut out of this piece of acrylic. When we get in close, we can see that all of these letters are going to be really small to work with. And again, this is where I decided to just cut those small letters and the little circle lines out of black vinyl. The final color that I need to cut is the pink. So that's going to be the ring of circles and then the heart and the little inside part of the mug. 
I'm going to select those shapes, click output, and then with my piece of pink acrylic in the machine, I'll refresh the image and get an up close view so that I can position where I want those cuts to be. Once I got the circles all lined up towards the edge, I took the circle that I cut for the cream layer and I did a copy and paste so that I could place it inside this ring because I wanted to have a frame that I could use for the placement of each of these circles. So I centered that circle for the cream layer inside the ring of circles. And then I also did a cutout around the outside and you'll see what that template looks like in a minute. Just like before, when it's ready, hit process and then start and then push the button on the machine. So here I'm just laying out all the different pieces of cut acrylic. Here's the part that I cut from black vinyl with my Cricut, and now I'm going to start assembling this sign. To remove the paper layer, um, you can use a razor blade to get right under the edge, or here I'm using a little pin weeding tool. You just wanna make sure that you're getting whatever tool it is underneath the paper and not digging into it. You don't want to accidentally scratch the surface of the acrylic. So I did the white layer and then here's the brown layer where I'm taking off the top paper. And remember on the back, we've got that um, adhesive. This part here was the most tedious part was taking off the paper uh, from all these little pink circles that I cut out. The black vinyl was all going onto the cream colored circle. And since I had those half circles on there, it was pretty easy to center everything. So all of the brown acrylic pieces have the adhesive layer on the back. And so uh, I'll peel that off and then set the acrylic down where it goes on the white background. And then you can press from the back side as well to make sure that everything's adhered nicely. Okay, so here is that pink template that I was talking about where the inside circle exactly matches the cream circle. And then I have a spot for every single little pink circle that goes around the edges. So in this design, the edges of the little circles line up with the edge of the brown layer. So I'm just making sure that those are in the right place and then I'm taping it down to make sure that it doesn't shift while I'm placing in all these pink dots. For the pink acrylic, I did not add a layer of adhesive. Instead, I put down a few dots of the super glue and I'm using pliers so that my fingers don't get glue on them. So with the pliers, pick up one of the circles Dab it just a teeny bit on the super glue, and then on a separate piece of paper, dab it once or twice to get rid of any extra super glue. That way you'll have just a little bit on there. It won't squeeze out so that one, it won't be visible, and two, you won't accidentally glue this template down to the brown layer as well.
then to attach the cream layer, I just put a few dots of super glue down on the brown. Then I pressed the cream layer down in the center, making sure that the letters were lined up. To get the letters for Detaza all lined up in the right place, I covered the letters with a piece of transfer tape. It probably would have been better if I had used clear packing tape just because it would have been more sticky, but this worked. And so all the letters are in place and now I can take off the backing and reveal that adhesive layer. So now the backs of all the letters are sticky and I can carefully flip this over position the letters where they're centered in the logo and then press them down so they'll stick. With those letters all in the right place, then I can take off that top paper layer and reveal these lovely black acrylic letters. The final touch is putting the little coffee cup and heart up at the top of the logo. So I used a tiny, tiny bit of the super glue to glue that pink inside of the cup in there and then took off the backing to reveal the sticky part of the brown. And then I'll just center that in between the established 2007. And then I used the pliers to pick up the heart and put just a little bit of super glue on the back. Remember to dab the extra on a piece of paper and there it is all finished. I went to the cafe, got to give it to them and then took a couple of pictures. So I hope this was helpful in showing how to cut out a bunch of colors of acrylic, how to layer up a design for a logo. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you catch all the future videos. All right, see you next time. Bye.